Yes? Who is this? It's me, Ludmilla. Listen, you have to come home. Ludmilla? What happened? It's Mom. She... She's dead. What? What the hell are you talking about? She hanged herself. God damn it. Are you telling me the truth? You think I lie about such a thing? She's dead as Lazarus. She's hanging by a rope in the closet. Oh my God. I'm so scared. It's dark and raining and... And I'm all by myself. What do I do? What do you do? Why the hell did you call me in the first place? Call the damn police or an ambulance. Please tell me you'll come home. I can't come home right now. What? What the hell do you mean? You have to come home. Our mother is dead and you just... Listen, I can't. Not now. I have a job and it's not the sort of thing I can walk away from. The hell is with your job? You left me and mom just as father did. You're a selfish bastard. Listen... If I could, I would come right away, but I really can't. I'll be home by Christmas, okay? No, it's not okay at all. You have to come at once. I can't wait that long. I'm all by myself here. Why can't you understand? I'm sorry. I... This old place I left when I turned 16. I didn't miss it. Why the hell didn't I just come to the funeral? That last job was a mess. And now, I need to lay low for a while. I hope at least my sister will forgive me. I should have brought some flowers. She must be expecting me. Aside from going to work, she never leaves the apartment. Ludmila, I'm home. Hmm. Strange. It's locked. Often called a dictator, the new president has won the people's vote of confidence through unprecedented measures. In his latest speech, he announced the increase of the minimum wage by 70%. For millions of people, the Christmas celebrations turn to feasts as the increased income brings a complete life change for them. The measure has also put an end to... My mother always said she'd like to die listening to the ticking of this clock. But in the end, she hanged herself in the storage closet. As you may know, the decision was taken earlier this month. And as a consequence, no one can leave the country without given permission. Quite a lot of pills. Mom had a disturbing addiction to painkillers. Ludmilla should have thrown them away. Those religious depictions make me feel uncomfortable. I'm at the cemetery. 
I'll be home soon, Ludmila. Isn't it a bit too late for that? This is the place where my mother took her life. Hmm, I might need this later. Damn it! I should find a new light bulb. Me, back in the day. My little sister, Ludmilla. The only photo of mom and dad together. Hmm, it's locked, but I see a dim light coming from inside. So I understand that we have five more minutes. How on earth can okay. you eat this thing? Let's it looks like it stood Father here for days. Abraham. The stench is All overwhelming. Right. What the everyone hell, Ludmilla? But not everyone knows about his past. This is important because you, you'll certainly meet him. You look a little rough, old boy. I hate to break this to you, but you fit perfectly in this old, decrepit place. That new building with the golden roof that cost us, the taxpayers, a fortune. Hello? Lazarus, you finally arrived. Yes, a few moments ago. I thought you'd be home. Where are you? I'm beside her mother. Are you still at the cemetery? You should hurry up and catch a bus or else... Don't worry, I can handle it on my own. Listen, I brought you money. Enough to start a new life somewhere else. I want you to know that I am very sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I have forgiven you already, Lazarus. We all make mistakes from time to time. I have my own sense. Oh, thank you. Listen, you should hurry up. It's cold and dark already. By the way, where are you calling from? Ludmilla? Are you still there? Hello? Yeah, that's enough.
This is a sign that the world is coming to an end. The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is nigh. Many say this is conspiracy, but I swear it is not. I would know that. I worked in the research. was that? There are cracks on this wall, and a foul stench is coming from behind. This madness. She even locked the bathroom door. What the hell is this thing? Am I losing my mind? What the devil was that? I should call the police right away. to send someone. There's a creature in my bathroom. A hideous monster. Something like... Sir, please calm down and try to speak louder. I can't speak louder. The thing is right next to me, just behind the door. There's a horrible thing there. The earthquake must have caused it to come out. It's sticking out of the toilet, and there's there's black stuff smeared on the walls. Please send someone. Okay, I'm going to ask you to calm down and back away from the door. Try to arm yourself with a knife if possible. Are you kidding? It's a bloody monster. How would a knife help me? Damn you. Just send someone. Oh god, it's happening again. Please calm down. You are not the only emergency. There are reports from all over the city about abnormal activities and strange occurrences. You are not our first priority. No, no. Damn you. This is ridiculous. I'm not fighting a damn monster with a knife. Open this damned door! I must be hallucinating. This is rather disturbing. I'm not staying here any longer. I'm going after Ludmila at the cemetery, and then we'll go straight to a motel. To hell with this damned place. I left the apartment immediately. I drove on the muddy roads towards the Kalima region, where my mother was buried. I was overwhelmed by an unexplainable rush of anxiety, fearing for my sister's safety. The decision to close the country's borders has sparked controversy, especially among ordinary people. The fact that only rich citizens with political connections seem to have access to documents that would allow them to leave the country at any time has enraged the public opinion. 
For those less fortunate, it seems the only way to obtain the needed papers is through illegal means, for large sums of money paid to unscrupulous profiteers who know the right pockets to grease. Concerns have been expressed by many that such restrictions imposed by the new Wait government a second. are a That's the bus that should have brought Ludmilla home. Oh god. There were burnt corpses inside, unrecognizable. My god, Ludmilla. Are you still alive? happened to this place? Looks like a generator that is connected to the tank. It doesn't seem to work. This is legit war. Strange. Can you hear me? What the hell happened here? Listen, 
Can you hear me? Have you seen a young girl near the cemetery? They have slaughtered us. We must sink that cursed battle cruiser. What? Listen, I can't... There's a terminal down there that will remotely control this tank. Go and activate it. I cannot get involved in this. Listen, you selfish idiot. That girl is probably dead if she was caught in the crossfire. But something far more terrible is afoot. A demented maniac is on a rampage of slaughtering innocent people. If you sink the cruiser, we may all still have a chance to live. Do something good while there's still time. Is anyone there? It's me, the soldier on the beach. Right, I'm down in some shelter. Good job. Seems you still have a heart. Bastards. They told us we were coming here to free the monks. But when we got here, they ordered us to kill them all. How could we? But there isn't much time left. See that terminal beside you? It controls the tank you've seen on the beach. I see it. There must be a way to connect to the tank. There's a password somewhere. One of the dead soldiers had it. Maybe he wrote it on one of his notes. When you find it, type it in the terminal and follow the instructions. I understand. But listen, why don't you want to do such a thing? What? I can't hear you. They're probably listening to our conversation. Just hurry up. I don't want to carry it around without a reason. Damn it. Right. Now, it's not a good idea to remain here in the open. Destroy that damn cruiser! Is this even working? Are you still alive? You've done it! The cruiser is sinking! Great job! It must have been an hour since the explosion. I woke up and tried to find a way out. My knees were shaking. Outside, desolation filled the air. I wasn't sure anymore if that was snow around me or was it ashes. I managed to escape to my car, but Ludmilla was nowhere to be found. I barely made it home alive. My back hurts like hell. It is not true, alright? They are trying to lure you into believing this nonsensical conspiracy. They are fanatics. Who in their right mind would believe that in this day and age someone would want to exterminate the community of defenseless monks? Seriously, there is scientific proof that in the Kolima region there are surges of methane gas leaking from the ground almost each year. The huge explosions were caused by the gas suddenly catching fire, not because of a military action. I know that some would like to believe that a Norwegian society is upon us, but that is simply not the truth. What the hell?
so they're trying to cover it up. And I almost got myself killed out there. I'm not even sure if what I did was, after all, the right thing to do. And I have no idea how to find Ludmilla, or if something happened to her. Damn it. All these pills must have interfered with my sister's mental health. My father built it. It's an abnormal amount of pills. had something mysterious in her eyes. Why do all the doors need to be locked in this house? Hello? Lud Miller? Um, no. This is Lazarus. I'm her brother. Mr. Lazarus. Oh, thank God you answered. My name is Laura. I'm a journalist at the local newspaper. But don't worry, I didn't call to ask any uncomfortable questions. That's good to know. And why did you call? You see, I'm a friend of your sister's. We got close after your mother's death, but I haven't been able to get a hold of her for a while now. What do you mean? She hasn't been answering the phone. I came to her apartment the other day and found the entrance door open. I entered, but there was no sign of her. Only the living room was open. The rest of the apartment was locked up. Is she with you now? No. I talked to her on the phone a few hours ago. She said she was at the cemetery. What? That makes no sense. Why would she go to the cemetery at this hour? It's outside the city, plus the whole place was turned upside down by General Zotov. Listen, Mr. Lazarus, I'll drop by to discuss this right away. We need to find out what happened to her. Let's hope I can trust her. about his past. This is important because you, you'll certainly meet him. Dear fellow citizens, just by looking out the window, we can all see the church where this individual serves. That blue building with the... This damn door won't open! Where are those things coming from? Damn it! I'm stuck in this place! Ludmilla? I didn't know you were home. Oh, God. I was afraid I lost you. Help! Help! Lazarus, help! S 
stay calm. We need to get to the closest. No! Oh God! What on earth is that? Ah! Uh, what the devil? Oh my God! Stay back. Just look away. Hmm. The corpses seem fresh. They must have died not long ago. This is deeply disturbing. What could have caused such an amount of blood? <coughs> what the hell? Oh my god. What is that? This is getting out of control. Go and call the police. Don't have a tape. Our neighbors from above, Martha and her daughter Ludmila, are still pursuing hostile activity against the country. With the equipment you provided, we managed to extract information about their actions during the last four months. We are absolutely sure that the two of them donated an important sum of money to the Orthodox parish, led by Father Abraham, for the construction of the new cathedral. Also, we inform you that in the intercepted telephone calls, Martha had discussions with the priest in which she denigrated the Romanian state and the new political regime. We suggest that drastic measures be taken immediately on these enemies of the state. In the coming years, this industry will explode, but it is not enough just to film boring and predictable scenes with actors paid with a lot of money. We must innovate. We must be the pioneers of a new type of art. An obscene and scandalous form of art, secretly filmed, conditioning the so-called actors. Confused? Let me explain. What do we produce? Erotic movies. Who are the actors? Simple people who have no idea of our intentions. How much do we pay them? Almost nothing. We just promise them various favors. How do we film? This is where things get interesting. We secretly videotape them. Our most successful production is the one with our neighbor from above, whom we've been spying on for a while now. Oh, she's so naive. Poor little Mila. She had no idea what she was getting herself involved in. We had placed surveillance throughout her apartment. I must admit that she was one of the best girls I have ever worked with. So full of surprises. So desperate to get what she wants. Who knows? Perhaps I'll even keep my word and give her what I've promised. Or not. 
Oh no! Ludmilla, are you in there? Listen, you're not safe. It doesn't matter anymore. Why do you care? You've been away for years. Just open the door. Ludmilla, we have to leave. Leave me alone. God damn you, crazy girl. If you don't come out, I'll break down the door. Careful, Mr. Lazarus. My friends from the police department know I'm here. You don't want to do anything stupid. This is crazy. Who the hell are you and how did you get in? Language, Mr. Lazarus. We talked on the phone. Now, open the door and show us all what you've done. No. No. This is not possible. I just talked to her a few moments ago. No. No.